can tell that's frozen. <laughs> oh, hi. Yes, I saw you there with my new spectacles. Stop it. Get some help. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Vegan Region. My name is V. I love a lot of vegan things, but mainly food. the fact that my hair is going sort of downwards in this direction but then on this side it's just taking off to new heights doing its own thing I really don't have an explanation don't know what to tell you girl <laughs> for today's video I thought I would try my hand at making cheesecake never tried it before but I thought if I could find a really basic simple recipe surely I could accomplish this simple task i would like to see it so i am using the recipe from baking mad today and honestly the reason why i chose it was because it had five ingredients and three steps i'm just being honest i don't know if this is just me but every time i want to try out a new recipe i always look at the number of steps and the number of ingredients that it's going to take because honestly i just want the results now that's my so the quicker we can get there, the better. So I found this recipe online. I'll link it in the description box below so that if you want to give it a go, you can try it as well. First up, let me show you how I made this vegan Biscoff cheesecake. You are going to need 200 grams of Biscoff biscuits and there's a really good dupe of these from Lidl and I'll pop a picture of them up right here. But basically you want these crushed up and you can do this by just popping them in a bag and bashing them with a rolling pin. Next up, you're going to add 80 grams of melted vegan butter and you're going to mix this until you get this sort of sticky texture and that's going to be the base of your cheesecake. I ended up using my fingers because I just wanted to make sure it was as even as possible. When you're happy with how your base looks, you're going to pop this in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Now time for the filling. I'm going to use 700 grams of Violife cream cheese and then I'm going to pop in some caster sugar because I couldn't find the actual sugar that they recommended in the recipe and then I'm going to add 100 grams of Biscoff spread and then I'm just going to beat that all together until I get a nice smooth consistency and I ended up adding just a little bit more Biscoff spread just because that was my preference. Once your base is chilled then you're going to to pop the filling on top and I did this in two parts just because I found it a bit easier and then I set this in the freezer overnight and then let it thaw out in the fridge. Reveal yourself. You can tell that's frozen. <laughs> You're gonna have to leave that out for a while. Eventually. So as you could tell, when I took my cheesecake out, it was still frozen even though I had left it in the fridge for, I wanna say three hours to thaw out and just hopefully leave it set as well because I didn't want it to just melt straight away. And yeah, that didn't, it did, it did not help. It's still frozen. So it's thawing out, but I need to do a taste test for you guys so I can get this video out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and taste test the piece that I've cut off. Hopefully it's defrosted enough. Bon appetit. <laughs> I think that you, can you see it's like cracking there? I'm not sure why that is. Maybe just because of the way it's defrosting, I'm not sure. But to be honest, I'm really impressed that I actually managed to make something that actually looks like a cheesecake like can we just take a moment how pretty i decided to decorate my cheesecake like this because i can find whipped cream anywhere i have been searching all over the place so unfortunately we're not gonna have any whipped cream with this cheesecake time for the test test it's defrosted a little bit on the outside so i think i'll be able to get a decent taste test for you guys i'm quite nervous This actually tastes banging. 
Why is no one talking about this? Why is no one talking about how easy it is to make vegan cheesecake? I've been in the kitchen, whipping, whipping. I've been chefing. Sorry, because I'm a chef now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just made this cheesecake. <laughs> That recipe was so straightforward and easy to follow. I am honestly so impressed with how good it tastes. I think the only thing that I would change from the original recipe is definitely add Biscoff spread to your preference because the 100 grams for me was not enough and I ended up putting a little bit extra and I think that's what makes the difference because when I was tasting it, I was scared that I would still be tasting that sort of cream cheese aftertaste, but because I've done it to sort of my preference, that's really helped out. So I think that's the only thing that I would change about the recipe. But overall, I'm so impressed with myself. I made a cheesecake for the first time and I didn't ruin it. Why you always lying? Okay, okay, okay. We gotta talk about, you know, the defrosting process because I think I just messed up there because I had left it in the freezer, then I put it in the fridge to start defrosting. And I'd left it in the fridge for like four hours. So I thought by that point, it would still be quite chilled. But yeah, I should have just left it out to begin with. So that is it for this week's video. Let me know what you thought of the five ingredient vegan cheesecake. And if you have a more complicated cheesecake recipe that you'd like me to try out, let me know in the description, in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out when I post a new video, which will be every Sunday. And I'll see you next week. Bye!